Thanks for joining us in another Navnet 3D training video. I'm Jeff Kozlerik, your host for this video series. This video will be talking about how to install charts onto your Navnet 3D system. We'll cover several topics such as how to format an SD card, how to find your charts and download them off the internet, we'll talk about installing them onto the SD card, and finally taking that SD card and installing it onto your Navnet 3D system. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this over to Clayton Patterson. Thanks, Jeff. Today we're going to talk about installing Magnet 3D Charts and Satellite Total Data on your Magnet 3D Multifunction Display. The Magnet 3D Multifunction Display, such as the black box here, comes pre-installed with a complete library of all U.S. vector and raster tracks, the 3D data, and with at least one satellite photo region. All of the accessory chart facts available for the Magnet 3D can be acquired through your local journal dealer. Can either install them for you on your Magnet 3D machine or simply provide them to you on SD card. Fluid USA also offers a USB hard drive, including all of these tracks on one drive. All of the accessory world chart packs, as well as the updates to the US chart library, are all available online at www.fluidousa.com. You will find direct links to both the world chart packs as well as the US chart updates. Downloading charts from a website is quite easy. From your favorite web browser, simply go to www.perunousa.com. This will bring you to our homepage. Next, hover over the products menu, and a drop down menu will appear. Simply click on the app When the page loads, click on the orange title that says Charts for Navnet 3D. Now the charts for Navnet 3D are ready. Once the page loads, you will be able to narrow your chart selection by using the process on the left side of the screen. You can sort by chart region, chart type, or price. Here, we're going to first sort by chart region by clicking on Mexico West. If I wanted to, I could sort again by selecting chart type, but because there are only three charts to choose from, I'll click on the third chart. The next page that is displayed is a brief overview of the chart, with a sample of coverage area, and a description of what you will receive with the chart. To download the chart, we need to click on the link that says click here to download stuff from mapmedia.com. A new window will appear from the Map Media website. When you scroll down, you will see the chart information and an outline of the chart area highlighted in blue. After verifying that this is the chart we want to download, you will now have the option to download the PD data, raster tracks, and stat photos. Here, we're going to click on View and Download Raster Tracks. At this point, another window should appear, showing the chart area we selected to download, highlighted in blue. Hover your mouse over the blue down arrow icon, and a pop up window will appear. To download the charts, simply click on the words Download Raster Tracks. A dialog box will appear. Asking you to either open, save, or cancel the download. Click on Save and specify where you want to save the chart on your computer. I'm going to select my desktop and then click Save to begin the download process. You can repeat this process to download the 3D data on your satellite photos. Now, once the file has been downloaded, it's almost ready to go on the SD card. The only thing we have left to do now is unzip or uncompress the file. You can do this by right-clicking on a folder that's been downloaded and selecting Extract All. This will allow you to unzip the file. And once the file has been unzipped, you don't want to change the file name in any way and discard the folder that it comes in. Now that the file has been extracted and removed from the folder that it came in, it's ready to go on the SD card. But we have to format the SD card first. To do so, insert the blank SD card into your PC connected USB card reader. This can be purchased from any office supply store. Once the card is inserted, open the My Computer window, right click on the SD drive, and select Format from the drop down menu. A second window will appear, allowing you to change format type. Left click on File System and select Fact and click Start. And then OK on the confirmation window that appears next. Now that we've formatted our SD card, we're ready to copy our chart and file 
to the SD card using the simple copy and paste method. Since we've already removed our target software file from the folder that it was downloaded in, we're now ready to put it on the SD card. It should be on your desktop and just ready to go. All we have to do is right click on the file, select copy from the drop down menu, bring up the blank window for your SD card, right click in the center of the window, select paste from the drop down menu, and you will see your file appear in the blank window. At that point, it's saved to the SD card and ready to load on your MSD display.